Hi guys, so today I am sitting down to talk to you all about natural deodorants. Natural deodorants are a thing that is newer to me, I would say, in the last two years. Now I've heard people talking about this for quite some time about how you should use a natural deodorant, why you shouldn't use ones that contain aluminum, it is bad for you, it seeps into your skin, there's some studies that say it could cause symptoms or possibility of breast cancer or other cancers. I have no idea of the scientific knowledge on this. None. So if that is what you're here for, this is not it. I am here to tell you all about my switch to natural deodorant, what I experience, what I'm liking, what I'm not liking, and the learning curve of getting used to the natural deodorant. My focus here on my channel is for us ladies over 40 and finding those products that give us that style and confidence in our own skin, in our own body, in our own clothes, in our own lifestyle. And those things include deodorant, right? We all use it. We all need to use it. We all find pros and cons to all these different types. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about what made me decide to give this whole natural deodorant thing a try. So I had heard everyone talking about it and how great it is for you and how you should really try to be more natural. I had kind of started to go a little bit slowly dipping my toe in when I got involved with Monate and the hair care and really being like as natural as it possibly can. And so I said, you know what? I should really try bringing that into other portions of my life. If you follow me here, I am currently doing a 30 day cleanse. My body as healthy as I possibly can. I will post a link here for that video where I'm talking about what I'm doing there. But everything being natural is not a realistic thing in my life. But where I can, I want to try and be as healthy as I can. As we get older and as we age, we find that our body changes and we need to pay more attention to the things we're doing. Don't get me wrong. I should have probably paid attention when I was in my 20s, but when I was in my 20s, there wasn't natural deodorant. The only natural deodorant I remember, and this will tell you how many of you can remember this. Do you guys remember that rock deodorant that everybody used for a while there? That's my only experience with a natural deodorant. That did nothing for me. I think it might even still be out there. But that did absolutely nothing for me. Now, I am someone who I sweat. I can go to the gym and leave looking exactly like I do right now, except for like the back of my hair will be a little bit wet. I'm not a sweater in the manner of when I go to the gym, I'm like drenched, but I'm definitely hot and sweaty. But where my problem is, is I can hardly wear a blouse that's the wrong material because I sweat under my arms. It just is part of nature. It happens. It's where I sweat from. It's there. But my biggest fear is always, I don't want to have somebody standing next to me and smell body odor. There is nothing worse than standing next to someone and being like, what's that smell? And realizing it's the person next to you. So natural deodorants always, always, always scared me. I tried the native brand a while ago. I want to say it was probably a little bit over a year ago. I think it came in a FabFitFun box. It was fine. It kind of stung under my arms a little bit. Like, you know how if you have like an ingrown hair from shaving under your arms, like that little bit of like that tingle, it was irritating to me. And everybody said like, oh, just push through it. Just keep trying. Once you get through one, it'll feel better. And I used that entire thing up. And two things. One, for me personally... I don't know, I just didn't love the scents, and I know they have a lot broader range of scents right now, but I didn't love the scents. I didn't love how chalky it was. It was very chalky and felt like if I lifted up my arms, you were gonna see a bunch of white stuff. It just, I don't know if I was putting too much on, too little, I don't know what was going on, but I just didn't like how chalky it was. I didn't like the residue. I couldn't put clothes on and off. It would leave a white film on it. And I just didn't love any of this sense. So I never really went back to trying that again. So when I had heard people talking about this one from Kopari, and it is their coconut oil deodorant, I was like, all right, I'll give it a try. I think one time there was a Sephora VIB sale, and I thought, well, if I'm going to try it, now's the time, because if I hate it, at least I'm saving some money on it. So I got it in, and first of all, I love the scent of coconut. If you don't like the scent of coconut, they do also have a lavender one. I personally actually don't like the scent of lavender at all. 
Now, the difference with this deodorant is this deodorant is super, super, super smooth. There is no white residue. It is so, so nice. The scent to me is heaven. I love it. I mean, it is just very nice, very smooth. It is made with coconut oil. So coconut oil is soothing to your skin. So when I started using this, I didn't have any irritations. I didn't have any of the issues that I had run into with the native brand. So I continued to use this. Now here's the key part. I will say the first, I'd say it was about a week, not quite two weeks. It was about a week to a week and a half. I noticed that I applied this probably about two times a day, whereas any other deodorant I had used typically, as long as I wasn't going to a gym, on a typical day, I put my deodorant on in the morning when I got out of the shower and I was good to go all day long. Now, when I tried this, I noticed that I could smell just a little bit and I couldn't tell if it was I was smelling the product or if I was smelling my natural body odor. So I put it on w once in the morning and then one other time throughout the day. And that helped, there were no issues with that. But I had noticed that after I got past that like one and a half, almost two week mark, I didn't notice it any longer. Now, a lot of times if I would change a scent of a deodorant I was using, I would notice that scent for a while. So I'm not 100% sure if it was actually, as I mentioned, my body odor or the scent of this that I was just getting used to. I love the scent of it, but that mixed with my body odor was a little bit different. One of my other fears that I always have with these natural deodorants is the main thing that I want out of a deodorant, almost more than the scent, is the antiperspirant. Because when I sweat, like I mentioned, I sweat under my arms. Like if I'm wearing a dress, I don't wanna see that gross like dampness under the, on the dress. It's just not attractive, it's not pretty. So that's where I had a big concern. I was worried that I was gonna see that. And I did not once notice that. And that is truly impressive because it truly kept everything really good. Once I was past that two weeks, I didn't notice anything other than the scent of the deodorant. It is not an overpowering scent. It is not anything that if someone's sitting next to you, it smells too natural or too this or the other. It just is a light kind of coconut scent. Now, the thing I love best about this too is the fact, as I mentioned, it is super soft, it is super creamy because it is made with coconut oil. I love how easily it glides onto my skin. It actually feels like a little bit back in the day, do you remember deodorants when they were in like a roller ball? It actually has a little bit of a feel of more like a roller ball type feel. It feels amazing, it is so, so soft and just it just feels great under your skin. When you first put it on, it does get a little bit, I'd say about 10 minutes after, it gets a little bit of a white cast to it, but it goes away. I mean, I've got no white cast under my arms whatsoever. I mean, you just roll it on and it's just great. Like you can see, there's nothing there. So I could put a dress over right away and it's clear and good to go. I find the only time I really get that white cast is if like I'm putting a lot on, like, you know, when you're not paying attention, you just keep going back and forth. You only need to swipe it back and forth once or twice. It is just a great, great product. And I'm so glad I made the switch. I mean, the last time we had VIB, I ordered two backups. I have this. And one of these takes forever to get through. I hate nothing more than when I have a thing of deodorant and I run out and I don't realize I have another one. This one takes so long to get through. You are good to go. You will start seeing the bottom come up and it'll start flattening out before you even need to replace it. I just got replacements because of the fact that I had a good deal on it. The price point on this is $14, which I find to be very, very comparable to a regular deodorant. However, this one lasts you so much longer, as I mentioned. And it does also win the Allure Best of Beauty Awards all the time. It is a winner from 2018 and I can see why. $14 is a great price point, but if you are interested in just giving it a try and you're not sure how you're gonna like it, there's also a Beauty Besties set. It is a $58 value for $40. It does have a smaller one in here. I got this actually for traveling. And in this set, it also comes with a coconut melt, which is a makeup remover. And then it also comes with a coconut moisturizer and a coconut lip balm. So this is a great way to try the products out as well. That being said, as you can tell, I am absolutely loving this. It took a little bit of a learning curve, but once I got used to it, it is my absolute favorite thing. I would love to hear from you guys down in the description box if you have tried natural deodorant, what your thoughts are, and which ones you guys like, because maybe there's another one out there that I don't know of that I haven't tried yet. 
and we know I always love to try new products. So as always guys, if you have any questions on anything I spoke about here, please let me know down in the description box. If you like this video, I'd love if you give it a thumbs up and everything I am wearing will be listed down in the description box under what I'm wearing. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me and have a great day. Bye.